Greetings everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about common poultry diseases, their symptoms, prevention and how to cure them in case your chicken or poultry contracts them. So first we are going to talk generally about poultry diseases. As you know poultry diseases is the major cause of losses in poultry farming. There are general ways of preventing diseases that apply to all of them like maintaining proper hygiene, ensuring that your chicken don't interact with those from your neighbors or, some, or something of the sort. Then we have three types of poultry diseases. They can be categorized into three. We have nutritional diseases such as stunted growth. For example, if you give your chicken less feed, they will get stunted growth. If you feed them a lot of feed, they will become obese. They will be they'll develop a lot of fats in their body that's a disease if you feed them food that has less proteins they will not grow as fast as they should if you feed them food without without calcium they won't have strong bones so those are nutritional diseases then next up we have behavioral diseases a chicken does not behave normally this mostly is normally obtained by chicken that are bred indoors. For example, if you use the deep litter and the battery cage system, your chicken may develop cannibalism where they start pecking at each other's skin and eating the skin. Or they start eating eggs or they start in, in removing feathers from other chickens. Those are behavioral diseases. Then last but not least, we have infectious diseases caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. If you look at these three types of diseases, the one that causes a lot of deaths are infectious diseases. The one that causes most losses to the farmers are infectious diseases. So today we are going to focus on infectious diseases, then we will briefly mention the other two. So the first infectious disease is fallpox. You can see in the pictures there. The one on the first picture on the left is called dry fallpox, where you have warts or lessons on the body, most especially around the head, but there is no discharge from the eye. And the one on the right, where there is discharge from the eyes, and you still see the lessons, is known as wet fall fallpox. So to just, we have two types of fallpox, I've already mentioned, we have dry and the wet fallpox. Uh -huh. Then next, you have to know that fallpox has no treatment, but you can prevent it through vaccination and strict biose biosecurity measures. I've already mentioned one of the biosecurity measures, ensuring that you have, you maintain proper hygiene, ensuring that you are poultry does not interact with wild birds ensuring that if, for example if you have a large commercial farm you have a footpath at the door of each house and things like that so strict biosecurity measures we are going to cover that in the next video mm -hmm. then um, in case one of your chicken contracts fallpox you can manage that by secluding those that have fallpox to try and contain the spread then those that are secluded you give them time those that recover you return them to the healthy flock those those that don't too bad uh -huh. then the next infectious disease is known as infectious bronchitis the same way human beings have flu chickens or poultry also have infectious bronchitis and the major signs are coughing and respiratory distress. Respiratory distress is whereby you see your poultry, they struggle to, to breathe, as you can see in the picture. So coughing, respiratory distress are signs of infectious bronchitis. Mm -hmm. Then same to fallpox, it has no treatment, but you can vaccinate and ensure strict biosecurity measures. Mm -hmm. The next infectious disease is called Marex. This is a type of cancer that attacks poultry. And the main, main, main symptom is paralysis. The poultry struggles to move or the chicken struggle to move. There are other signs you can see there, blindness, difficulty breathing and so on. 
but the major sign is paralysis. Marex has no treatment. Chicken may recover if the chickens recover but chicks die. Then chickens that recover become carriers for life. Prevention is through the same vaccination and strict biosecurity measures. Then next up we have Newcastle disease whose main symptom is twisting of the necks. But you'll also see other other symptoms such as paralysis and nasal discharge. Mm -hmm. Newcastle has no treatment. Mm -hmm. Chicken will recover on their own, but chicks will die. Then same as the other ones, prevention is through vaccination and strict biosecurity measures. Mm -hmm. Last but not least in the list of infectious diseases, these are the most common. The last one is coccidiosis. And the main, main sign of coccidiosis is bloody blood in the chicken droppings or blood or watery or the chicken release droppings that are watery. Those are two are the major signs you can see in the picture. That is blood in the chicken droppings. Then we will talk a bit about nutritional disease. The best way to avoid nutritional disease is, chick is feeding your chicken with a feed that consists of all the nutrients seen above carbohydrates to give your poultry energy, proteins to give them to give them something they can use to build their body, vitamins to boost their immune system, enzymes, amino acid, mineral salts. Mm -hmm. This is for chicken that are bred indoors. But if your chicken move outside, they'll be able to get all these nutrients for themselves. But if you are rearing a lot of chicken, or if you are doing poultry rearing commercially, at times it's impossible to allow them to roam around freely. So you have to choose which one is right for you. Then a list of behavioral diseases in poultry. Feather pecking, toe pecking, cannibalism, they peck at each other's skin, then they consume the skin. Aggressiveness, the chicken become very aggressive. They, they pick fights with other chicken. They attack you when you enter the house. Those are signs of aggressive, aggressiveness. Then we have egg eating. Mm -hmm. Then, as I mentioned, these are for chicken that are bred indoors. That's all for today. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. See you in the next video.